Okay. So here uh, we'll we'll do the problems uh, which usually come for ten or fifteen marks. Some year it came for both ten and fifteen marks. You can you can understand twenty five marks. Like in year two thousand sixteen and seventeen, uh, the equity valuation problem came for ten marks. Also, it came for fifteen marks. So altogether, it came for twenty five marks. So whenever we talk about equity valuation, guys. So here we are specifically targeting the valuation of ordinary share. Here we are not talking about preference share. So when we talk about ordinary share, so I believe you know that for the ordinary share they have infinite life. So when I talk about ordinary share, they have infinite life. They follow accrual form of of mode of valuation where we believe that the till the company will exist. The owners will keep changing, but the company will be there for infinite time period. So, because here we follow infinite life approach. Okay, so what we actually do here to do the valuation for these kind of firm. Okay, so we we assume the growth rate of the firm. Like there in the problem, they will be given some growth rate. So the when when the firm is expected to grow at very higher rate, that is called super normal growth rate. Super normal growth rate. Okay, so some kind of problem. There will be two stage growth rate model problem, or it can be three stage growth rate model problem. If it two stage growth rate model problem, then they will give you two growth rate only. Ah, uh, they will give you super normal growth rate, and then they will give you constant growth rate. Okay, so only two growth rate will be given. Means for the certain year, the firm is growing very fast. For certain years, because then definitely after some years, the the life of the firm will get stagnant because maybe the firm is not able to reproduce uh, as such any innovation in the market which can actually make them to be competitive and where the where they have continuous increase in demand means marginal demand is is increasing. But more or less, if the marginal demand for the product of the company become zero, then Then the firm will enter into constant growth rate. So under that kind of scenario, a direct formula. If you want to find the price of the share of the company, you can use a direct formula that D I V not into one plus G one. G one is your super normal growth rate divided by cost of equity minus growth rate. So here you are doing the valuation of equity. So you just need cost of equity. You don't need cost of debt. One minus one plus Super normal growth rate plus one plus cost of equity to the power n. This whole divided by this whole plus. This is for super normal growth rate plus normal growth rate constant growth rate div not one plus g one to the power n. N is the year till the year when the firm was having super normal growth rate into one plus g two constant growth rate divided by. One plus cost of equity to the power n into k minus g two. This these all are constant growth. Rate. So this is the direct formula. By using this formula, you can find the price of share. If the if the firm is 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 growing at super normal growth rate, or if the firm is following two stage growth rate model, two stage rate two stage growth rate model. If the firm is following two stage growth rate model, you can do directly by using this formula. So some kind of numerical which come in exam, it can be three stage also. If it three stage, then this formula will not work. For three stage, you have to do individually only. For two stage, you can do directly. Clear, guys? Yes, sir. So yes, sir. how to identify two stage or three stage? You read this question. The Visual Company Computer Corporation has been experiencing an above normal dividend growth rate of 25 percent. This is G1 for past five year. Okay, for N is five year. The above normal growth rate is expected to continue for another 10 years. Means this will grow 25 percent. Will it will be there for another 10 years? Means another five year. And before it level off to a normal rate of 25 percent. So you this is your G2. Seven percent. So last dividend paid was one rupee. That is current dividend, DIV not. So you have to find the value of the share if the rate is 
if the cost of equity is 20%. So this is two stage growth rate model problem. You can easily understand because here two growth rates are given. Then if you see like this question, here you can see this is again two stages given clearly two stages. Then if you see here this question 2021 above normal growth rate for the past four year above normal growth rate continue another five year before it level up to 7%. Okay. Same question guys. 16 and 21 question paper were exactly same. Okay. This is, this is again two stage. So more or less two stage is coming. If three stage also come, it came some year. It was three stage also. I will show you three stage also. If it two stage, you can directly do by using the formula. Okay. So if I take down this data of this question, if I just let me take the screenshot. So if I write it down, so here you can see your super normal growth rate is 25%. Your constant growth rate is 7%. Okay. Your cost of equity is 20%. Sir, sir, how do we get to know two states, sir? Two growth rates are given. Super normal growth rate and constant growth rate. Okay, okay, okay. Sir. So the cost to equity is 20%. Dividend, last dividend was 1 rupee. This is 1 rupee. Okay, and the time period is 5 years. For the 5 years, the super no normal growth rate is there. Okay, so you need to follow the formula, guys. If you want to do directly, you can do directly price of share. This is the formula DIV not DIV not means present year dividend one plus G one in super, G one means super normal growth rate divided by K E minus G one K e is your cost of equity one minus one plus G one super normal growth rate plus one plus cost of equity to the power n. n is the n is the number of year till super normal growth rate is there plus div not into 1 plus g1 to the power n into 1 plus g2 divide by ke minus g2 into 1 plus ke to the power n this is the formula so if you want directly Present dividend is 1 rupee. It is growing at 25%. Cost of equity is 20%. Super normal growth rate is 25%. 1 minus 1 plus 25% divided by 1 plus 20% to the power 5 plus div not is 1. 1 plus 25% to the power 5 then 1 plus 1 plus constant growth rate is 7% divide by super cost equity 20% minus 7% 1 plus cost of equity cost of equity cost of equity is 20% to the power 5 so you just need to solve this the price 1 plus 25 percent means 1.25 divide by 20 minus 25 percent means minus 5 percent 1 minus 1.25 divide by 1.2 to the power 5 plus 1.25 to the power 5 into 1.07 this is 13 percent into 1.2 to the power 5 so the price so 1.25 divided by 5% so 1.25 divided by 5% that is 25 this is 1 minus 1.25 divided by 1.2 to the power 5 
1.2 to the power 5 1.226413 to the power 5 1.25 to the power 5 3.0 3.0 into 1.07 divide by 0.13 into 1.2 to the power 5 1.2 to the power 5 2.4882 price is equal to if you do this calculation so 1.22 okay so this is 25 into 1 minus this value 1.226413 this is minus 5.66083 minus 5.66083 plus Solve this. So use calculator. If I use calculator one minute. So three point zero five one seven five eight into one point zero seven. This divide by point one three divide by two point four eight. 832 so you'll get 10 point 10.0944877 so your price of the share minus 5.66083 this is your answer Clear any doubt? No, sir. Is this the only way, sir? Formula? Uh, or is, is are there any other way? Other way also you can do. You can write here, either. Here you can write down the year. Let me do next. You write down the year, year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. From 6th year, you have super no constant growth rate, right? Till 5 year, you have super normal growth rate. Till 5 year, you have super normal growth rate, right? Till 5 year, you have super normal growth rate, right? Correct? Correct, no, it's growing at 25% till five years. And then from sixth year, so from sixth year to infinity, sixth year to infinity, it have constant growth rate. You're getting it, right? So from year one to five, it have super normal growth rate. Then from sixth year to infinity, it has constant growth rate. Any doubt with this? No, sir. You need to 
see it's a two stage growth rate model no two stage growth rate model so because this is the problem of two stage growth rate model so the firm is growing from year 1 to 5 at 25% then from year 6 to infinity at 7% so you need to understand this so how you do this step by step if you want to do maybe you don't want formula and this is important also to know this because in three stage growth rate model the formula itself is very complicated so we we normally don't prefer to tell student formula so what do you do right till you have super normal growth rate and just write one more year for the constant growth rate your constant growth rate starting from year 6 so you just write year 6 here okay then you write your future cash flow so the concept of face value and all don't work here why don't work because equity have infinite life okay your current dividend is 1 rupee your current dividend is is 1 rupee okay so and this is growing at 25% right growing growth rate this is growing at 25% from year 1 to year 5 and then from 7th year is grow from 6th year growing at 7 percent so here what you can do you can write 1 rupee which is a present dividend into 1 plus 25 percent growing at 25 percent okay so you can find this value you'll get 1.25 again 1.25 it is growing at 25% again you find 25% of that this you can do every year you can do this every year for 5 year it is growing at 25% it is growing at 25% find 25% of every year clear this everyone so 1 into 1 into 1 plus 25 percent to the power of 1 one. one then this is 1 into 1 plus 25 percent to the power 2 this is 1 into 1 plus 25 percent to the power 3 this is 1 into 1 plus 25 percent to the power 4 this is 1 into 1 plus 25 percent to the power 5 then from 6th year it is growing at 7% person. 1 into 1 plus 25% person to the power 5 and then it is growing at 7% person. so this will be into so once you find this value you what is your discounting rate your discounting rate is 20% right your discounting rate is 25% which is your cost of equity your cost of equity is 20% so what you do find the present value of cash flow cash flow here is dividend so this this divide by 1 plus 20% discounted guys year on year basis to the power 1 so this is the present value for super normal growth rate that formula which i told you div not 1 plus g1 by k minus g1 1 minus 1 plus g1 divided by 1 plus k to the power n this would give you this value okay yes. 
sir uh, the last one sir uh, sixth year seven percent year i will not do because from sixth year we have constant growth rate so we just yeah. did calculation of of super normal growth rate okay uh, sir my question is uh, so for that uh, face value what we do one one into one point two five percent to the power six no into no, no. or plus one into point many. into one into one plus twenty five percent to the power five till here five and from sixth year you have seven percent okay 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 sir so this you found this is the this is the present value of super normal growth rate this is the present value of super normal growth rate Um, sir, calculating. Can you please tell present value of dividend once again? Simple. Ah, uh, this this future value, whatever you are getting, one point two five divided by one plus your cost of equity is twenty percent to the power one. Then for second year, your calculation will be one point five six two five divided by one plus twenty percent to the power two. Then for third year, it would be one point nine five three one two five divided by one plus twenty percent for the year three. Like this, you do for each year. Fourth year, it would be. Two point four four one four zero six two five divided by one plus twenty percent to the power five. For fifth year, it would be three point zero five one seven five seven eight one divided by one plus twenty percent to the power five. Then, guys. Uh, sir, can you please explain once again the future value one point two five? This this is your present dividend. Whatever yeah. is your present dividend into one plus your growth rate is twenty five percent to the power one for so year one. Okay. Second year it would be one into one plus twenty five percent for year two. Like this for okay. each year you do this. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Got it.
Are uh, there any further steps, sir? Done. Uh, so till here it is done. Sir. So we have done till super normal growth rate. Super normal growth rate is there till five years, while you have constant growth rate from six years. From six year, you have constant growth rate, guys. So this was the present value of super normal growth rate from six year to infinity. Okay, you have constant growth rate model. You have constant growth rate. So because you have constant growth rate from six year, so how will you find the present value? So present value of after like from six year you have. Super normal growth rate. So the present value after fifth year, if you want, you what you just need, you need the dividend for the sixth year. Okay, divide by the cost of equity minus your growth rate. How this formula came? This come from GP model for for infinite time period and all. I don't want to put maths here. And if you, second semester financial management, these things was there. But I don't know how much you know or you don't know. This is a direct formula for constant growth rate model. So where for the present value after fifth year you can find dividend for sixth year is this three point two six five three eight zero eight six divided by cost of equity is twenty percent growth rate is seven percent. So if you solve this three point Three point two six five three eight zero eight six divided by thirteen percent. If you do, you will get the present value after fifth year. How much you will get? So this, this divided by thirteen percent. This twenty five point one one eight three. This this value you will get. This value you are getting after five year, present value after five year. But whenever we are doing valuation, we I want the present value now. So the present value now will be the present value after five year divided by one plus cost of equity for five years. So for this, divide this twenty five point one one eight three with cost of equity is twenty percent to the power five. So if you do this calculation, if you do this calculation, twenty five point one one eight three divided by one plus twenty percent to the power five, you'll get two point four eight eight three two. If you do this again, twenty five point one one eight three divided by this. You will get is ten point zero nine, ten point zero nine four five. This is the value for super constant growth rate, and this was the value for super normal growth rate. So if I write here, this is the value for constant growth rate. So for constant growth rate, your value is ten point zero nine four five. For constant for super normal growth rate, it is five point six six zero eight three. Five point six six zero eight three. If you add them, you will get the price of share three thirteen five fifteen seven fifteen point seven five five three three. You just add super normal growth rate value and constant growth rate value. The same value you'll get here. Same value you'll get here. Here something else is minus one minute. This is okay. This would be minus sign. No minus minus. It would be plus. This is minus. This is minus. Minus minus. It would be plus. So if you add them, you will get the same value. Fifteen point fifteen point seven five five three three. Same value you will get. You see, this value, this value, same. This value, this value, same. So this only thing. This is the direct formula. 
this formula what i told you it is a direct formula here we are doing step by step same so this is the value this is the present value at constant growth rate this is the present value at super normal growth sir for form when we applied formula this is the price of share yeah what you are telling me uh when we applied formula we got 4.433 years no, no. we got this 15.75533 this was minus minus it will become plus Okay, sir. So this either you do direct formula or you do like this step by step same thing. What we did here. So once you find the once you find this value, this this formula, this formula will give you the present price after fifth year. Once you get this value, you you'd find the present value, present value P V naught. So for that you need to discount it further at cost of equity at five years. Now you add them, you'll get this value. So every year you'll get a question based on this. This is two stage growth rate model. You get a question on three stage also. Tomorrow we'll discuss three stage question. Okay, sir.